And we will be joined live by our Hong Sung Hee later this hour for a more behind the scenes look at summit talks from the presidential office. Now, Korea and Japan have agreed to speed up talks to resolve the issue of Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women. Although Japan has at times admitted wrongdoing, its prevailing stance is that it bears no responsibility. Our Kwon Jung-ho looks back on this contentious history. From the 1930s until the end of the Second World War, an estimated 200,000 women from Korea, China and other Japanese-occupied territories were kidnapped and forced to provide sexual services to Japanese frontline troops. Most of the victims remained silent for over 40 years until Kim Hak-sun came forward in 91 and filed a lawsuit against the Japanese government. Dozens followed her lead, putting the Japanese government under pressure to begin their own investigations. It resulted in the 1993 Kono Statement, which admitted the Japanese military was involved in the establishment and management of brothels, and that many victims were recruited against their own will. Korea welcomed this statement, but conservatives in Japan criticized it, saying there was not enough evidence of coercion, and that most women joined voluntarily. In 1995, the clearest apology to date was made by Prime Minister Tomichi Murayama, which launched the Asian Women's Fund to compensate victims. But many survivors rejected the payment because the money was not coming from the state, but rather private individuals. This was seen as the Japanese government avoiding responsibility. The Murayama statement has been officially upheld by subsequent governments, including the current Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's, but he has also openly questioned its validity. Earlier this year, during a speech marking the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II, Abe avoided a full apology and simply expressed remorse and condolences for Japan's wartime actions. It is these kinds of elusive statements that victims take issue against. They are looking for a clear and unambiguous apology and an acceptance of history that cannot be disputed. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.